Jim, Jim, first question here on the left. In the front. With Steph, uh, to your left, I guess, in the front. Uh, Jim Ozarski, Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Uh, you've been at the forefront of the deep threes along with Damian for a while. Obviously, it's a showcase game, but just your, your thoughts on a couple half-court pull-ups and, and just him doing this today to, to win a game MVP. About Dame specifically? Uh, I mean, he's been doing it for his whole career. I know I got off to the head start. Um, and you just stretch your imagination. So <clears throat> I think it was Atlanta two years ago where he – I think he won – Hit like a like maybe two feet inside the three point line to end the game in that Elam inning thing, and it's always fun to stretch him, you know, the limits of where you can shoot. He's been doing it for a long time. In the front again, James Wood, the Athletic. Steph, Steve Kerr compared Tyrese's like joy and charisma to yours. Um, how do you think he's handled making that leap to the next level and trying to establish himself among the greatest in the league? You don't ever want to lose that joy, no matter how you know deep you get into your career or the expectations that come with success that you've had and the standard that you set. So um, things are going to get tougher when you're trying to win at the highest level and embracing that but still playing with joy is always the, the challenge. Um, he's been to two All-Stars and you know the playoff experience and all that will come and you know, sky's the limit for him, but you, you don't want to change who you are. Um, you know. As you, as you get deeper into your career. Left side here in the back. What's your excitement for the Bay Area hosting the All-Star Game next year? Uh, extremely excited. Uh, 2019, I think it was, I got to go home to Charlotte and feel the love of my hometown and kind of embrace that experience. And I imagine it's going to be that plus you know, a whole lot more hosted it in the Bay. I don't think, you know, first time since 2000, right? So uh, a lot to offer. This is, the whole Bay has a lot to offer. You know, San Francisco, Chase Center, possibly some uh, some spotlights on Oakland and our, our history there in, the, in that city as well. But I'm excited and uh, thankful to be a short drive. On your standing on your right. Hey, Steph, Shane Young Ford Sports. A lot coming into this game has been talked about LeBron, 20 All-Star appearances. Have you, I'm just curious, have you thought about how long you want to play personally? Think about it all the time. Uh, but the thoughts stop because you got to get ready for the next game. And, you know, there's a routine and a, a cycle that goes that you, you embrace the now. And uh, eventually you'll get to a point where you'll wake up and, Whatever your body's telling you, whatever your mind's telling you, is time. But I don't think I'm anywhere close to that. Third row in the center. Uh, hello, uh, Steph. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Tony Cañameras from Mundo Deportivo, Spain. Uh, Coach Steve Kerr said that uh, he used to show you videos uh, from uh, Barca soccer team to to show you how how you sh how how to share the ball. Uh, how tiki, much? Tiki Taka, he called. Yeah. Hmm? He had this phrase called Tiki Taka. We used to. Uh, but how, how much do you think that, that, that uh, Barca soccer team in the Pep Guardiola era, how much do you think that inspired the, 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 the game style of the, of the Warriors uh, dynasty? It's a great visual for us to see. It's a great comparison of uh, body movement, ball movement, you know, between the two sports. So it's all about uh, just flow and rhythm and chemistry. You know, we've had a certain style that we've, Ma uh, mastered uh, and has evolved over the you know ten years he's been coaching. So yeah, he was. It was a it was a, a asserted effort to get us to play a certain way that you know would help us win. And obviously we've we've been able to do that. Thank you. Last question here on the second row on the left side. Of everything you achieve in your career, what made you more proud? And you have a lot of guys follow you. What advice you give them? I don't know. I'll, I'll be able to answer that question better when it's all said and done because you're still passionate and inspired to win, you know, more championships and individual accolades come, you know, from that mission. And that is my advice. You know, when you win, good things happen. When you win, everybody gets to shine. When you win, it's fun. Um, but winning is hard. So if you embrace that challenge and uh, you know, not worry about anything else, then good things will kind of come to you. Uh, and there's a lot of patience that goes into it no matter where you're starting from. So 
but it's an amazing journey, and I'm thankful to still, you know, be on it. What myself. made you mo most proud? I'll be able to answer that when I'm done. No, no, no idea right now. Thank you, Steph. Thank you. All.